Hi guys, welcome back. This is Erin from Paint Those Piggies and today I'm going to go over my top 10 polishes for Halloween. And so I just decided to do this video because I thought it would be a fun idea. I did kind of just put polishes together in this video that are more available to people. They're not like really crazy polishes for Halloween, just kind of like Halloween colors, got a Halloween feel to them. So that's what I wanted to do for this video and I already feel like my voice is gonna go. So we're gonna go through the polishes quickly. I will include swatches of all the polishes and so let's get started. So first I'm going to go into two oranges and they they are very different but they're more along the like fall pumpkin kind of feel of polishes instead of like scary Halloween type polishes. I don't know what would make a polish scary but there are some kind of interesting china glaze Halloween polishes that they come out with but I haven't been able to find the china glaze Halloween collection for this year so I just pulled polishes that I already had in my collection. The first one I have is Zoya's Channing, and this one is like a shimmery, interesting orange, interesting orange. This one's like a shimmery fall pumpkin orange, and what I like about this is it's got a little bit of red in it, which kind of makes it like a pumpkin kind of polish, but also reminds me a little bit of changing leaves. So this one has a gorgeous formula. It is similar to Zoya Autumn, but this one I just think has a little bit more dimension, a little bit of that more deep, rich tone to it. So Zoya's Channing is easy coats, two coats and it covers your nail completely even for a shimmer and I really really like this polish. It's like fall in a bottle to me. Next up is one that is like a pumpkin orange to me. I kind of wanted to include a bunch of different oranges so people could decide on their preferences what kind of oranges they liked. I know a lot of people don't like orange nail polish and and truth be told, I'm still getting into oranges, but this one I really loved. It just like is like a pumpkin spice color to me. So I think it's perfect for Halloween. This is OPI's It's a Piazza Cake. I wore this recently, maybe two, one or two weeks ago, and I think it's gorgeous. And I paired it with a glitter that had black in it, and it was like the perfect Halloween manicure. It's like this pumpkin orange plus just like a little bit of extra sparkle is just like, it was perfectly Halloween. And so that's why I included this one because it reminds me of like a true pumpkin color. Although my husband calls it a fox orange. This one I think is a great pick for Halloween. Next up, I have my favorite orange of all time, and I included this one for people that like a little bit more bold color, more bright color. Not necessarily has to be like neon or anything like that, but you can still wear bright colors in the fall. And this one is OPI's Atomic Orange. This is like my favorite polish of all time, my favorite orange polish of all time, and I love this. I, t I stole this bottle from my mom because I don't see my mom wearing this color, but I just think it is like a bright, rich orange cream on the nails, and it leans a little bit warmer, so that's why I think it's a good fall color, but I just love this atomic orange color. It's bright and it's noticeable, it's fun, but it's not like seasonally inappropriate. It fits right in with orange and black for Halloween. So this one is like my bright orange pick, OPI's Atomic Orange. Next up, I'm gonna go over the two glitters I picked. I don't know how readily available these two are, but if you have them in your collection, it might spark something in your mind like, oh, that would be a good polish to wear for Halloween. So this first one I picked is from an OPI Halloween collection, which there's been a couple of them. This one was a couple years ago, which was the Charlie Brown collection, and I really wish the OPI would do more Halloween collections. I think it's an opportunity for them to branch out and kind of do something different, which is what this glitter is. It's very different for OPI, but this one is OPI's Where's My Blanket with three question marks. And so 
though this one is definitely like Halloween candy corn glitter in a bottle and which is why I really love it. I'm pro candy corn. I know a lot of people aren't but I love candy corn. I haven't had any this year but this is so so good. It's like got black hex glitters. It's got pale yellow and pale orange hex glitters and like some black micro glitters so it just is like Halloween candy corn in a bottle. I love it. I've actually used it quite a bit. Like you can actually see how much I've used in my bottle which is pretty impressive considering how many nail polishes I have but as soon as I swatched this I was like yes I love this polish. So this one again is OPI's Where's My Blanket. Next one is probably pretty controversial. I know I'm on the fence about bar glitter, but I saw this. It was actually in my D stash, but I pulled it out again because my husband loves it. And so I felt bad getting rid of it, but I saw it and I thought this would make a perfect Halloween manicure. So this is Essie's tassel shaker. And And it is bar glitter, but I found that when I applied it, none of it stuck up off the nails. I hate when glitter of any kind sticks up off my nails and like I can feel it, it snags on things. That's why I don't like textured polishes, but this one applied smoothly. I didn't have any problems with it. And this polish is like a, that foxy kind of orangey pumpkin color glitter and then a gold bar glitter. So I thought it was pretty interesting and and I actually really liked it when I swatched it. It's just kind of like a unique glitter. Obviously, a lot of people don't like bar glitter, but there are some that I like, and I definitely think this is really seasonally appropriate, especially if you paired it with like a black or a deep polish. It would look just like Halloween confetti on your nails. So that again is Essie's Tassel Shaker. And you can see I got it on clearance because nobody wanted it. Next up, I picked two basics and I picked a black and kind of like a blood red. And so my black that I picked is Essie's Licorice. This is like my tried and true black nail polish. It's actually almost empty. I'm considering doing a project polish where I use up bottles of nail polish and this would probably go in there kind of as like a gimme product like I definitely can use it up but this I just find to be extremely opaque in one coat. I do too just to cover any spots that aren't completely opaque but I really really love Essie's Licorice. It is my favorite black polish that I own. I do want to get another bottle even though I own more black nail polishes, but this one is definitely my favorite. So I wanted to include just like a straight black polish because you can't really go wrong with that. And then I did include kind of a jelly red blood color because I'm a big fan of like blood designs on your nails for Halloween, especially like vampire drips or blood drips. I've done that before. I've done that kind of nail art before like doing blood drips or vampire teeth and I thought it was really cute. So I guess cute might be not cute but I don't know spooky I guess. So I wanted to include a jelly red. You want a jellyish red when you want to do like a nail art that simulates blood because blood is Blood is not opaque, so you want a little bit of light to go through it. That was weird, but this is the jelly red I picked. This is OPI's To The Mouse House We Go. And for some reason, I love this red. This is one of those polishes that like, I just love the name of it, so I love the polish. I actually should do a video on just polishes I love because of their names, but this is obviously a Disney reference, but it's really a great red polish. I have worn this for a week straight and not changed my nails before. So this one is definitely good if you want to do some nail art that's like blood drips or something spookier or a splatter mani. This would be a good red to use as your blood in nail designs. That was so weird. It sounded better when I planned it out.
Next up is kind of a weird pick, but I kind of think of Halloween as like black, orange, purple, and then green thrown in. And it's like that chartreuse kind of ugly slime green color. And it's funny because I love chartreuse colored nail polish. And so this was not hard for me. This is my favorite chartreuse nail polish. It's kind of that like murky swine slime slime green color and this is Essie's the more the merrier I've actually used quite a bit of my bottle not enough to like put it in a project pan or anything but I love this color of like this weird lemon lime colored green and this one has a really good formula I did two coats in my swatch photos and I love it. I do own a bunch of other chartreuse colors because I just love it. I think it looks so good on the nails. And so this one I wanted to include because even if you don't want, you know, all green nails, you can put dots on your nails with green. One year I put, um, used a black nail polish as a base and then did green, purple, and orange polka dots and I loved it. So So that is my pick for that kind of slimy green. So last up I have two purples and the first one I've already worn as kind of a Halloween themed manicure. This is from the OPI Holiday Collection for this year and this is OPI's Wanna Wrap. And I have mentioned this in a weekly nail polish video as well as that swatch video. But this one I really like as just like a vampy dark purple Halloweeny polish and I wore it on a Saturday because my husband and I went and saw Hocus Pocus in like a local theater and I wanted something deep and vampy and this was perfect. Now, now this polish is not unique by any means. OPI comes out with these dark vampy purples but the difference between this one is that it is warm based. It's kind of like a warm plum so that's why I picked it for this video. So that is OPI's Wanna Wrap. Last up is another purple, and this one I picked because I think it's pretty special. This is one of Zoya's Scattered Holographic Glitters, and it is a purple, so I picked Zoya's Finley, and this is like a royal purple. It's pretty deep of a purple, but not, a, not too deep that you can't tell it's purple, with Scattered Holographic in it, and it's just like... It's so beautiful. Like I remember when I swatched these last weekend, I was just like, oh, that is so Halloweeny and good. And so I picked Zoya Finley because it's just a good, like cool purple Halloweeny type color. And so that is my last pick. So that is everything in my top 10 Halloween nail polish picks. It's too far out for me to know what I'm going to wear on my nails for Halloween, but I already have done ghost nail art and worn a couple of Halloween type manis. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and it was helpful for you. If anything, if you have some of these colors in your collection, they might jog your memory for something you want to wear on Halloween. So hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.